Hello and welcome. My name is Opal, and today I will be showing you how to fix an error that frequently occurs when trying to download mods from Nexus Mods using the Vortex Mod Manager. To briefly cover the issue, or at least the one that I spent a while trying to fix, the screenshot shown is of a small pop-up window that displays, when trying to download mods, even ones that don't add any features really at all, such as mod loaders. This window makes mention of a .NET desktop runtime service that is required for Vortex to do what it needs to do. Keep in mind, this is different than something of similar verbiage for Windows, called .NET SDK. It's easy to mistake the two. Normally when this error is displayed, be it for Vortex or another application, there's two main reasons that come to mind. Firstly, it's possible your .NET desktop runtime from here on commonly referred to as just .NET, is either out of date or the install is damaged. The easiest way to remedy this is simply to press yes on the error window to attempt to automatically download the .NET service that we need. If that doesn't work, we can cover both possibilities at the same time through a manual install of .NET. In the description is a link to Microsoft's official download page for the .NET service we need. Download the latest version and run the installer. Follow any prompts, and wait for the application to tell you the download is complete. This shouldn't take longer than a couple of minutes. Once that's done, head back to Vortex. Fully close the program, then reopen it, and try to download a safe mod. Safe mods tend to be the basic ones that every other mod needs to function. Usually those end up being mod loaders. If trying to download this you still get an error, similar to the one that kicked off this video, it may be something else. We can check to see if the issue can be remedied through Vortex's Workarounds tab. Go to Vortex. On the left, click Settings. At the top, click Workarounds, and disable the option titled Enable Sandbox, located under the Installer Sandbox section. Now attempt to download a safe mod. If you still encounter errors at this point, you can continue through this video, but I'm unsure if these instructions will help, seeing as at this point our issues diverge. If you don't see any errors following disabling the sandbox, you have two options. Either work with it as it is, with sandbox disabled, or continue on to try to fix the issue at its source. I recommend the second option, since this sandbox is there to prevent malicious code, or viruses, from affecting the rest of your PC. Think of it like, as the term suggests, a sandbox. Users can go in and out of the sandbox as they please, but viruses, or the sand, can only stay inside of the sandbox. In this video, disabling the sandbox is only recommended to help eliminate possible causes of our issues. Personally, I would re-enable it. That said, you can continue to use Vortex without the sandbox enabled if you choose. The likelihood that you'll run into issues is small. However, if you choose to try to fix the problem at its source, let's re-enable the sandbox and continue on. The remainder of this video is assuming Vortex doesn't have access to your .NET folder which is needed to keep all your mods in the sandbox they use for computer safety. Everything that follows seems a little bit complicated, but just follow along and you'll be fine. This next section comes in two parts. The first part is checking the permissions in the default .NET install location, which usually ends up being program files. We'll be attempting to correct any issues we find here. The second part is if the first part fails. For me, the second part was my solution, since I customized where my .NET service was installed to. We'll be locating our .NET folder and changing the settings to reflect what Windows typically is able to take care of on its own, but may have failed to do this time. Let's begin. Firstly, we'll check to see if the Vortex application has proper access to our program files folder. Open a file explorer window and go to your C drive. Find Program Files, left-click it once to highlight it, right-click it once to select Properties. Go to the Security tab of the new window that shows, and check under Group or Usernames for all application packages. Click it once, and below look for the permissions Read and Execute, List Folder Contents, and Read to all have check marks next to them under the Allow column. If that user or those permissions aren't there or configured correctly, we'll need to add them. Unfortunately, the program files folder is a Windows necessity and is a little awkward to modify. Press your Windows key to open the Start menu. 
type CMD in an application called Command Prompt will show. Click Run as Administrator. There are two commands you need to run. For the sake of ensuring they're typed correctly, I've put them in the description of the video. Copy and run them one command at a time in the Command Prompt window. You'll see in the recording that my command prompt failed to properly execute these commands. I'm not entirely sure why, but because the permissions I had in program files weren't incorrect, I moved on. These commands were simply other options I came across while researching how to fix this issue, and I'm broaching them to you in case the next step doesn't work. If these commands worked for you, go back to Vortex and try to install a mod. If you're still having issues installing one, your .NET service is probably installed to another location that isn't program files, like mine is, and is not receiving the changes that we're making due to this. To start, you'll need to locate your .NET install. If you're lucky, this should be easy. Press your Windows key to open the Start menu. Type D-O-T-N-E-T, -E and you should see an entry shown under a command category. It doesn't show exactly like that for me, but that's because I searched it up a couple times before recording the audio. Click the arrow next to that entry, and then click Open File Location. Press the up arrow at the top left of the File Explorer window that opens to go back one page, and the .NET folder should now be selected. Left-click that .NET folder once, then right-click it and press Properties. Go to Security at the top, and under Group or Usernames, look for All Application Packages. If it's there, check to make sure it has the Read and Execute, List Folder Contents, and Read Permissions all set to Allow. If the entry is missing or does not have these permissions, click Advanced at the bottom of the window. Then click Change Permissions on the new window. Add. Select Principle at the top, and a small box will open. At the bottom, there's a large text box titled Enter the Object Name to Select. Type, in all caps, All Application Packages. And click Check Names. If you've typed it correctly, it should become underlined. Press OK, and that window will close. Press OK again, and that window will close. Press Apply, and a small window will pop up with some changing text. Just sit tight for a few seconds until the computer closes this window on its own. Press OK, and the window will close. If you have the option, click Apply at the bottom right of the .NET Properties window, then press OK. If you don't have Apply, just press OK. And just like that, you're done. Go back to Vortex. I recommend closing the program and reopening it, but it's not necessary. Go ahead and try to download a mod. If it works, congrats, you're done. If not, you may have another issue and you'll need to keep researching. In either case, I wish you luck and have a great rest of your day.